Right, so hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex and today we're going to be taking a look at my final thoughts of the LG 34UM67 gaming monitor. Let's get straight into it. So this was my first step into the ultra wide scene. I've seen a lot of people jump onto this bandwagon and I hadn't done it and I didn't see any reason to do it, I'm going to be honest with you, but now I have done it, I would never go back. So first of all we're going to go through the aesthetics. It's a stunning looking display with obviously a 21 by 9 aspect ratio with a resolution of 2560 by 1080. The thin black reflective bezel is striking uh, and minimal uh, at the same time and it was also prone to fingerprints. If you choose to use the included stand you can actually choose from two different heights uh, to suit your needs on the back of the monitor. Now speaking of the back of the monitor, you'll find a very glossy surface that is again prone to fingerprints, so keep your fingers off this monitor once you've got it in place. You can see a nice large LG logo, below that a nicely included vase mount or vase bracket, as you can see I've got my monitor wall mounted and it looks absolutely stunning. Below that we've got some I.O. So there we've got two HDMI ports, one DVI port, one display port, no USB hub here, but we've also got a audio interface if that's your thing and you want to plug some headphones into this monitor if you're using HDMI to carry sound. The panel itself is gorgeous and vibrant, almost a little too vibrant some would say. Personally I wouldn't be using this monitor for any reference or colour matching uh, or professional grade photography work, but for gaming and media consumption this monitor is just off the wall. So if it's not the main selling point of this monitor it will definitely be on your mind and that is the 21 by 9 aspect ratio. Now I'm going to go through this in a work and a play environment. First let's kill off work and I have to say it's gorgeous, it's a pleasure to work with. I didn't think it would be as intuitive as it is to use the full 21 by 9 aspect ratio. Uh, I've got a Twitter client open and uh, my client emails uh, and having them both there side by side with plenty of room to work uh, on either. I can see my tweets and I can write an email with plenty of space. It really just does work and there's no better way to explain it. Now when I open up Premiere Pro and start working on a video it is a totally different ball game coming from a 16 by 9 monitor. I have so much workspace on my timeline. If I scroll out, I can actually see a full 9 minutes of my timeline while still seeing individual clips on the timeline. Now this is just totally awesome as well as improving workflow uh, and getting your edit completed faster. I'm honestly blown away about the 21 by 9 aspect ratio this monitor has to offer. I really didn't think it would be this intuitive to actually drag windows to either side of the monitor and use them. When the monitor was in transit to me and I was looking forward to it, I just didn't think I would use it having two windows either side of the monitor, but honestly it's so intuitive and I find myself doing it all the time. Gaming with 21 by 9 is just amazing. I've never felt so captivated into a gaming experience. Uh, colours pop and response times are acceptable. With the extra wide space I just feel like so involved with the game and the surroundings and using my two Asus monitors either side uh, aids this experience further. I much prefer gaming on the LG monitors than the Asus monitors. Even though the Asus monitors offer or boast a one millisecond response time, Gaming on the LG monitor doesn't seem too different from that, even though it's a 5 millisecond response time, which is really good. I haven't really noticed much of a difference. And added to that, we've got the full 21 by 9 aspect ratio and vibrant colours. The LG for gaming is definitely a win in my eyes. So you're probably thinking, Alex, you haven't said anything bad about the monitor so far, and that's because I really can't think of any bad points. Yes, I'd love this monitor to be curved. Yes, I'd love it to have a 1440p display or even a 4K display. But that's like buying a Nissan Micra and expecting it to perform like a Ferrari. The monitor doesn't come with an inbuilt power supply, so you've got to deal with that, an external power brick. But I've got my monitor wall mounted and that hasn't really been an issue for me. Overall, I've loved every minute of using this monitor as far as editing is concerned, as far as work is concerned, as far as media consumption and gaming is concerned, it's just been absolutely insane. 21 by 9 is definitely the way of the future and I'm so happy to have this monitor uh, in my setup. It's, it's just an absolute godsend. 
So overall, this monitor has been an absolute pleasure to use. All the way from working with having two screens either side like social media and an email client to media consumption and gaming and even editing, it's, it's just been a dream. Colours have been vibrant, response times have been acceptable and it's just a pleasure to work with and also a pleasure to look at. I've dropped links in the description, pricing and availability as always will be down there for you guys to check out but I really do recommend this monitor and I recommend you guys really get into uh, 21 by 9 I really do think it is the way of the future. But that's been it from me guys, you guys have been awesome and I will see you in my next video. Adios.